In this week's video, we murder an innocent bread. You ready? Go on then. One, two, three. Hey! <laughs> Fantastic. If they are uh, CA members. Yeah, yeah. CA members, then you are... Uh... A local proprietor offers 10% off for CA members and our subscribers. And we tell you about a beautiful Turkish princess and what story wouldn't be complete without the inclusion of pirates. Because all good stories have pirates, don't they? Oh, and um, the ancient kingdom of Baybasos. We get some amazing drone footage by getting up really early in the morning. And of course, then we head off to the market. Where else? Last time you saw us, we were in Bosborough, sitting out the Meltemi winds. Well, we haven't moved that far. Where are we now? Well, we're about 18 miles away, on the other side of the peninsula, the Bosborough Peninsula. And we're here, in the Gulf of Doris. Yes, Gulf of Doris. Hello, Doris. We're actually in a bay, or more of an inlet, called Orhanie. I hope that's how it's pronounced. You can see it on Google Earth. It's pretty well protected, and if you sit behind the island where we are, you're incredibly well protected from every side, as you can see here. It's pretty much unspoilt, with none of those infernal pirate boats blaring loud music everywhere, and there's only one banana boat in the whole bay. It really is quite picturesque as well. Peaceful. First afternoon ashore took us to Palmae, which is a local restaurant and small hotel. We'd been recommended this place by Dean on TC. It's set back off the main road and overlooks most of the bay and the island. There is a small landing stage, which is opposite the crossing. And although it's very shallow water, you can park your dinghy there for free. And if you're stocking up on supplies, it really is quite easy to get them straight to your dinghy and onto your boat. You can see the hotel restaurant and the landing stage here in this video shot. There are two large supermarkets and on Saturdays a market. Both of these are very close by. I'd say probably two or three minutes walking at the most. This one worked. <laughs> Spicy. Spicy. Yeah. Uh, yogurt garlic. Yogurt garlic. Uh, have some butter. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Teşekkür ederim. Little present for you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Teşekkür ederim. Hot, don't worry about it. Send that to Lynn. <laughs> you ready? Go on then. One, two, three. Hey! <laughs> Fantastic. That's one of the best Ballon breads I've seen for a yeah. long time. Whoa, look at the steam coming out of that. <laughs> Rather marvellous. Perfect. We've had a couple of meals there and they've been really good, really enjoyed them. And the prices have been very reasonable. If you're a CA member or one of our subscribers, you can get 10% off any meal just by pointing out our logo on the wall. So we've just done a deal. 10% discount from Memo. If you, uh, if you find the SV Impavidus logo, which is... A little play area for the kids. You can sit down out in the sun during the day. And at night, all these uh, lamps are all lit up. Beautiful mountains in the background. So they've also got a hotel here.
lovely flowers. So there's um, there's a, a what do you call it? ATM cash bank there. There's an A101 store over the back here, and um, that's a supermarket. And there's also another supermarket called Migros, and that's down the back here. So lovely little place. But yeah, fastidiously clean. Look at all those grapes bright on that vine. Lovely. At night, the restaurant is subtly lit and there's no loud music playing. Really, it's quite nice to be there. In fact, we've been there twice. Attached to the back of the restaurant is also a hotel with a large terrace at the top and a big swimming pool. There's also a laundrette, showers and toilets that you can use if you're a visiting yachtsman. There's marvellous views across the mountains and out to sea across the bay and across the island. Very picturesque look. Of course, just around the corner from the hotel there's a Migros which is uh, a supermarket. It's like a Chandler's. So there's a few bits and bobs. And an A101, which is another supermarket type place. So if you want somewhere to go and have a nice meal, sit down and have a beer, a chai, while the wife's doing all the provisioning, of course, go and see Mamet and claim your 10%. Where are we off to? We're off to the market. <laughs> a market for a we, change. We love a market. <laughs> well, we need to eat. <laughs> well, yeah, it's cheaper than the shop. If we don't move today, uh, I think we'll melt. Yesterday, it got up to 40 degrees yesterday afternoon. Yeah. It was hot. 43 Celsius, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I'll put it in the bottom, but it's bloody hot. But just moving at what we're doing, two knots. So, it's enough to uh, fan be, us a little breeze. bit. <laughs> As you walk along the roadside and look out across the bay, you can see where the rivers flow into the inlet. As they flow into the sea, they deposit the stones they brought with them, causing these large sandbanks. And therein lies the tail. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But. Apparently, the fishing around these outlets is really good. If you look carefully out across the bay, you can see that there are people walking on the sandbanks, maybe half a mile out or so. Apparently, this location is quite famous. Loads of people come from all around just to walk along the sandbanks. On Google Earth, you can see that the sandbank comes from a spit of land right in the corner. But therein lies this tale. Apparently, there was once an ancient city on the island called Babesos. This island kingdom, set behind its walls, was reasonably easy to defend. 3,000 years ago, after a long war, the king of the city of Babesos finally capitulated to pirates and was killed. The kingdom of Babesos was seized by the pirates. The most beautiful princess of the kingdom decided she had to flee from the evil clutches of the pirates. She did not know how to swim to escape, and in order to cross to safety to the opposite shore, she filled her skirt with sand and scattered it before her, slowly making a walkway across the water. After many hours of work, she was very tired, and as darkness fell, she lost her footing and slipped into the water and was drowned. So the pirates never got her, but she drowned in the process. And that's how the spit of sand allegedly got there. To be honest, it doesn't sound like the princess was, well, all that bright. Another day, another market. Let's go and have a look round, see what there is.
We've got our fruit and veggies, some corn on the cob. Is the next one, I think. Lovely. Don't get skills like that anymore. I'm going to Barbie tonight. So name those. I know what that one is. I know what that one is. I know what that one is. That's mint. I know what that one is. There you go. Competition. Name everything there. Yeah, coriander. So here's some of the extra drone footage only our Patreons have seen so far. <laughs> 